<laughs> so this episode is going to be very unorthodox because I'm currently overwhelmed in a hotel room right now. <laughs> hey guys, Prakara here. Um, okay, so I don't even know how to start this. I didn't write a script for this one, which I feel like I say a lot like, oh, I you know, wrote a script, but I'm not following my script or whatever. But this time I, I truly am going into this blind because I just had all these feelings and I just kind of need to get them off my chest. Um, all right. So first of all, if you guys are not familiar with the Nuzlocke Forum, um, the Nuzlocke Forum extravaganza, there are a, um, it's a period in time where people vote on uh, comics, written runs, and screenshot runs over on the Nuzlocke forums. Um, they, they vote for them for different categories, you know, like best world building, best new comic. So like comic that started in 2021 would be eligible for best new comic. Um, best like, uh, 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 <laughs> best antagonist. And best art style is one of them too um and they like a lot of them rotate um well i think it's like three of them that rotate in or out depending on like the year but the reason why i say best art style last is because um leftovers not only got nominated for best art style which was like i'll explain how that was that was kind of um okay this episode is really about me trying to explain why this whole Nuzlocke period or Nuzlocke extravaganza period has been so wild for me um and it starts with like the, the nomination period um before Leftovers even got on the ballot but yeah Leftovers was not not only nominated for it but it actually it actually won first place in best art style which like I was kind of in there like yeah honorable mention I got this but go off y'all like when people whenever people comment that they've read leftovers they always comment like oh, i just binged it i really love the art style first and foremost and like y'all weren't kidding huh <laughs> you really weren't kidding <laughs> i'm sorry i'm gonna seem i know i'm gonna seem slightly unhinged in this whole video because like this weekend was overwhelming but like in a good way i even spent the whole weekend it's saturday right now um I just got back from a convention. Well, not just got back. Last night, Friday, I went to a convention. And if any of you guys know Coxcon, I went to Coxcon. And um, I was dressed up in my Swampert outfit. I was dressed up in my Swampert cosplay. And I just got like so much love from that. So many pictures. And it was like slightly overwhelming. Because I, <laughs> beforehand, I was like, wait, should I practice a pose? I was like, no, I'm probably not going to, like, stand out that much because everybody else is cosplaying too. So I was like, all right, I'm probably not going to, you know, stand out that much. I don't really need to practice a pose or anything. The first picture, somebody was like, oh my God, can I get a picture of you? And I was like, what does a swamper do? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> and then it, like, it just kept coming. It just kept coming and it just kept coming. It was like... I just, I didn't expect to get that many people who wanted pictures of, um, of me as a swampert. Uh, well, first of all, it was so funny because literally everyone who was like, who, everybody who wanted a picture or who was complimenting my cosplay <laughs> was yelling, just like straight up yelling at me. Like the two things I heard the most yesterday were, oh, sorry, because pe like, people were stepping over each other. It was like, oh, sorry. And then the second thing I heard the most was, I love you, Mudkip. <laughs> um, oh my God, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm just gonna be giggling a lot. It's just, it's just where we're at right now. Um, But it was, I love you, Mudkip. As a matter of fact, I was literally telling a friend yeah, everybody who's seen my cosplay has been like, I love your mud kit, but like, I'm not gonna correct them, right? Like, if you want me to be a mud kit, I'll be a mud kit, shit. I'm a big ass mud kit. <laughs> With a gray fin <laughs> and two head, head fins. You know, if you want that, that's what I'll be. But like, literally, as I was telling this friend, I, I promise you, I wish I was recording this, I cannot make this up. <laughs> I could make it up, but like, it, it's, it's real. Literally, as I was telling them that, someone came up 
and they were in interrupt. They were like, I "Excuse me." Like, oh yeah, hi. They were like, "I really love your mud dip," and they were so shy about it. And I was like, "Thank you." And they walked off. And me and this friend looked at each other like, <laughs> like "What do you do there?" Um, <laughs> but like this, this vlog, this vlog isn't about. Um, you know what? No, you know this vlog can be about whatever I want it to be about. But leftovers does come in. Leftovers does factor in because it is a leftover vlog. Um. I didn't even welcome y'all to the next episode of Leftover Vlogs. Uh, <laughs> welcome to episode 5, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's episode 5. Uh, but yeah, so I, um, I, Kakava was great yesterday. I went and I was like, you know what? I'm going to spend a bunch of money. I worked a ton of overtime in February, just like, and I'll <laughs> bring that up more later because that, that factors in with my worksheets and stuff. But I worked a ton of overtime and it wasn't like, um, it wasn't like, I was being made to work overtime because I feel like I need to uh, stress this whenever I tell anybody this, <laughs> even right now in this format. It's not like I was being made to work a ton of overtime. We have the uh, option, we have the ability to work overtime. So I was like, you know what? Because I'm also saving for a house and my paycheck, whenever I like split it to save for a house and, and put in rent, it's not that much anyway. So I was like, I'm going to work a ton of overtime that way I don't have to sacrifice my house funds this uh this week for Katsukon money uh because my, my goal or not my goal but my rule is whenever I put money in house funds I cannot take it out like I, I used to <laughs> my savings were struggling for a while because I would put money in there and then be like oh wait but I gotta pay off you know this credit card that I use for groceries or whatever um and I take money out so my goal my role <laughs> rule <laughs> Forget this. Um, it's also really cold in here. <laughs> I'm walking around. I'm like a tank top, so I'm I'm like excited, but I'm freezing excited. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I was like, you know, I can't take any money out. So I worked a ton of overtime, got enough money that I felt was needed for Katsukon, and I spent it. And it was great because I just haven't really treated myself like that in a really long time. Um, <laughs> And I got like so much good stuff. Uh, one thing that I actually got that was super surprising to me, um, that I just, I, I didn't go there expecting it. Like I wanted to go there, get some dojin, get some, get a sketchbook maybe. I didn't get a sketchbook. I kind of want to get a sketchbook because I kind of want to start drawing um, like different concepts for leftovers to like kind of add some spice into the worksheet thing. But um, I didn't actually get a, a sketchbook this time. Uh, but one thing I got that was surprising to me is that, like, back in high school, <laughs> this is, I'm so sorry, this is all over the place. Uh, we're gonna get back to the extravagance, but we're gonna get to <laughs> worksheets in, like, a second, but, uh, just bear with me for a moment. Um, back in high school, I read this series called Basara, and it's by, I think, Yumi Tamura, and it was, like, opened up a whole new world to me. It was so good, but they, they didn't have, they had up to volume, I think, 15. And then they stopped in the library because it was high school. They stopped um, keeping or they stopped updating them because I believe in, in volume 15 it was the, the last one they had or they didn't have. Because in that volume, the main character and the antagonist have sex in a hot springs and they weren't going to keep that in high school, obviously. Um, so I had to go and buy that myself, but I didn't have the ability to go buy that, buy that myself until college. Um, by that case, or by that time, I wasn't really, like, reading them. I wasn't, like, I couldn't remember too, too much about what had happened. Um, there's certain things that are burned into my consciousness, like, hot pirate lady. <laughs> but, like, there's other things that I just, I just couldn't remember because it's been so long. So I had, you know, for years, I've had volume 15 of Basara and just nothing else. And I was, like, I, I wanted to go and find the series and, like, you know, collect the series, have the full set, because I think there's like 29 volumes, um, and I, I went and it's like, they're out of print, they're, they're just, they just don't, they're just not in print anymore, <laughs> and that means, you know, people are selling them super high if they have copies, so I just never could get them. Um, <laughs> you probably already know where this is leading to. I found Basara at Katzcon, not all the volumes. It's, it's kind of a jank set right now. The first, actually, the first thing I found for Basara were art books. I didn't even know they had Basara art books. If you look up Basara by Yumi Tamara and you tell me that you don't at least appreciate that art style and how like extravagant it is, I don't believe you. <laughs> 
it's so pretty but I found art books and I was like ooh I'm about to act up because <laughs> they were like $40 each I was like ooh I'm about to act up um and I did end up getting them but I bought one and then I was like let me go scowl the rest of the dealer's room and then I came back and I think that was my last purchase was that other one but <laughs> it's so rare they have to be so rare and then I went I was just looking at a random like manga shop because I wanted to find more art books because that was my main thing I wanted to do yesterday was find art books and I found five more volumes of Basra like <laughs> I was I was I came home with more Basara shit than anything. And I did not, like, you could, I, in my wildest imagination, I could not have expected that. Um, I think I have volume, like, I already have volume 15, but I think I have volume 4, 5, 7, 8, 11, and 12, or 11 and 17. I can't remember which one, but that's, those are the volumes that I <laughs> and I still have to, like, Obviously, I can't finish the series off of that, but like, I still need to get more of them. But the fact that I found them for like regular manga price, they were like 10 bucks each, um, just blows my mind. They were just there. They were just casually there at Katsukon. It's, it's wild. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I had a great, con a great time at Katsukon. It's also contributing to why I'm like high energy, <laughs> right energy, uh, uh, super kind of overwhelmed, but also really cold right now because that's why I'm in this hotel room where it's like freezing. I don't understand why it's freezing in here. Uh, if I'm in a hotel room, I know it's cold outside, but golly, we don't have AC on, do we? I don't know. I'll check it in a minute. <laughs> the, the coldness is, is making me want to like get through this stuff so we're good. Um, but yeah, so that happened. While I was at Katsukon and I was just sitting and chilling, I saw in the Discord, in the Nuzlocke Forum Discord, hey, <laughs> we're bringing that back, um, in the Nuzlocke Forum Discord, I saw a bunch of people like, um, I can't remember if I just saw like a bunch of notifications or I just wanted to check or whatever, because they were supposed to, the um, results were supposed to come out today, but they actually came out like late uh, afternoon, kind of evening last night, which props to the feature team because they worked their ass off on this like they came through on it um and like it it came out either way I was like chilling at cops time and I was like oh everybody's you know uh I, I think it was I think I did see that just the the Ganza discussion thing was lit up um which is the thread the Ganza discussion was lit up and I was like okay you know everybody's talking they're usually talking but like it's a lot, I feel like, in there right now. It just had the energy. So I went in there and I saw just a bunch of people who were just like, you know, congratulating everybody and, blah, blah, blah. and I was like, oh, it's up. <laughs> and I was like, oh, let me go, you know, let me go check and see, let me see, you know, who won, whatever, whatever, who pl placed in different areas. Not necessarily won because in my, in my opinion, like from first place to honorable mention number two, everyone won. <laughs> Honestly, like nobody lost. No one lost. Um, and it even it even goes for like I know it's like kind of cheesy, but it even goes for people you know who were, who were promoted. And I always feel bad like mentioning oh like promo people who were promoted and people who you know were nominated da da da. Because then there's still people who fall outside of that, right? But in my opinion, if you worked on your comic and you did or you worked on your your story. <laughs> So sorry, I'm, I'm in the comic realm, so I always forget about written and screenshot ones, but they are also valid. I need to get on like reading some of those and, and just like pay attention to some of those whenever I get a chance. Um, but if you did, if you work on your run, if you work on your comic, anything, it doesn't even have to be Pokemon, anything, if you did work, creative work on your stuff last year, or if you're able to do it at all, really, you know, that that's great that's precious I feel like because not everybody can do that not everybody will even if you don't do it a lot you know not everybody will, will take the time and not everybody has the ability to do that if you're able to you know exercise your creativity and you're able to sit down and, and work on something that you really love especially the working on something you really love part because I've seen so many people recently who are just working their job who are just you know going with emotions and it's like they don't have any passions for anything or if they don't have any you know if they do have passions I don't ever 
like we don't ever talk about it and it's like it's it, that makes me kind of sad because you have to do something in life outside of work but but yeah I, I anybody who's working on their creative stuff is <laughs> so corny anyone who's working on their creative stuff is a winner in my eyes <laughs> Oh my god but like but like seriously though thank you guys for <laughs> now i gotta bring it back to leftovers thank you guys for voting for leftovers like i i honestly i know whenever i put in there because i think <laughs> my um message yesterday i was like sorry but what the fuck because <laughs> i saw that leftovers won first place and I, I promise you i was not looking for first place <laughs> I was like, oh, let me see my little arm will mention, like, ooh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, ugh. And, and uh, I, okay, the reason why I have to make a, a vlog about this, I have to make a video about this, is because I don't want to take up, <laughs> I don't want to take up a new space, like, telling my, my detailed experience slash, like, relationship with the extravaganza and with like the community and like why this was so mind-blowing to me because a lot of people were like yeah of course you won for first place like what the f like stop <laughs> you know like they weren't being mean about it obviously but they were just not surprised <laughs> they were very much not surprised um and me over here surprised pikachu face <laughs> and the reason why is because okay so i got on the forums in 2019 i believe and i just been kind of like a lurker like I, I, I'm definitely one of those people who doesn't realize that their comic is bigger than they think it is. Um, and Leftovers isn't like super huge, I don't, I don't think, but <laughs> here I go, <laughs> being that person. Um, Leftovers is super, super huge, but I have my little community of, of readers and I, I love my little community of readers. Like it doesn't have to be super duper huge for me to feel, you know, good about it. Like I, I literally, I had like, two people from Tumblr come over to DeviantArt when I was first starting out and I was out here having a blast because I love working on leftovers. It's, it is my baby, you know, it, I could lose all of my readers and I would still love working on leftovers and I would still scream about working on leftovers, you know, as if I like had a reset and now I have to get more readers, like, you know, um, I just, I'm getting better about like promoing leftovers too, like I, I, um, it was such as it was as such back in the day I just wouldn't tell people about my comic because I don't like talking about <laughs> I usually don't like talking about my stuff or talking about like myself when it comes to conversations um and I'm getting so much better at that that's the that's the only reason why I can do these vlogs and <laughs> actually like I can only do these vlogs for stuff like this because I don't have to talk directly to somebody and I don't have to feel like I'm wasting someone's time when I'm like going off um, about this <laughs> fun fact though I did talk to my mom about this I literally just talked to my mom about this and that's why I'm doing this vlog now because I feel like the feelings are there like I actually know what I want to say and know how to put them into words now um <laughs> shout out to mom she was she had no idea what was going on but she was very proud of me she's just like well so you got first like she brought it up she's like she got first place in the <laughs> in the next life extravaganza and I was like yeah and she was like oh so like what is the extravaganza and I was like all right here we go um it's, it's so funny trying to explain it just in general um but yeah so I, I got on the forums in 2019 and I was just kind of a lurker, um, you know, I had my comics that I, I really liked, but I didn't really um, interact with them as much on the forums as I did on DeviantArt. On DeviantArt, however, I was lighting people's comments up, um, <laughs> because I'm the type of person who I just, I really like to really engage with people's comments, um, and really engage with their work, and like, give essay comments, and they're, they take a while. They take so long to write. Like, I'll lose a, a time. It would take so long for me to get through because I would read the page in like two, two minutes and it would take me like 18 minutes to, get, to just leave a comment. So that's why, that's also why I started my streams because it, it was so much faster for me to read and talk about the pages as opposed to having to leave, to leave the comments. But, um, yeah, <laughs> not about car for reasons. Anyway, so, but if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's pretty fun. Or show up on a, uh, show up to a stream, usually on Saturdays at 2 p.m. EST. <laughs> it's fun. We have a fun time out there. Um, 
But yeah, so, on the forums, 2019, 2020, uh, I didn't really post leftovers that much. I was kind of having a, a time with leftovers, to be honest. A lot of anxiety around it. Um, I posted in, I think, February-ish, and then I stopped. Because, <laughs> like, obviously, we all know what happened in 2020 from March to now. Um, but, like, I didn't really post it that much. But then I found this, this creator on YouTube at the end of 2020 around, like, whoa, was it? It was November, it was November because I was doing my social media detox from November and December. I found this person named Kayes, Kayes L, and I probably mentioned them so many times in these videos because like they just have such an impact uh, on me. Wait, okay, I'm gonna size, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna derail. Kayes did a promo for my, <laughs> for Leftovers, like they read Leftovers and I'm very excited about it. I need to go comment on that. Um, that's just random, I'm, I might put the, um, I might put the video in the description uh so you can watch it too but <laughs> anyway so yeah i ran into kaez and kaez was trying so hard to become a webtoon original which if you know you know what webtoon original is um should i explain it um uh, basically okay basically there's webtoons and there's webtoon canvas which is just like anybody can post and there's webtoon originals where webtoon the site will reach out to you and they'll be like hey we really like your comic we really want to pay you to make this comic and then you get paid to make the comic and it's like you're on a schedule you essentially become an official comic artist like as a job so they were trying so hard to get to be a webtoon original and they were like talking through their process and stuff you know in each of these videos and it just really inspired me to like if they're working for their goal maybe I could work because part of it was that you have to be consistent to get seen on webtoon like if you're consistent and they were having a lot of trouble with this um with keeping their web comic standards lucky by the way um and I, I i probably will put that or i'll put the video in the description and then they have like the links and stuff but they could do a better job <laughs> explaining it than i can uh explaining their comic than i can but like <laughs> so part of it uh, part of becoming a webtoon original is that you have to post consistently so they were you know a lot of their vlogs and stuff were about posting consistently and writing their story and stuff to so they can post consistently and like do they want to redo certain parts and you know uh, xyz um to ain't all for that goal of becoming a web webtoon original so i was you know listening to them i'm like i don't know what a webtoon is <laughs> i they actually are the reason why leftovers is on webtoons right now no like no cap <laughs> i didn't know what a, what a webtoon was until I saw that, I saw them, and then I was like, all right, you know what, maybe I'll try it out. I'll try to put it on there. Like, not to become a Westman original, because it's a Pokemon fan comic, and it's not really feasible. Like, it isn't really, I can't get paid for that. You know, you know what I mean? But I was like, all right, you know, I'll put it on there. Uh, I'll, you know, see what, what happens with, like, the comments and stuff. Um, Because they were like, they really like comments on their own lucky. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll go in here and I'll comment and stuff. And I was like, oh, what if I put my web comments on here too? And like, I don't know, it, it, like more eyes on your comments. That, and that's what I mean by I'm getting better at talking about leftovers. I'm getting better at like promoting leftovers. Cause I'm like, you know what? More eyes on leftovers could hurt, right? Like it's nothing wrong with wanting to strive to get more eyes on your work. If you're, you know, it's something, it's something you love. There's no, no point in like, denying yourself the self-satisfaction of trying to get more eyes on it so I was like all right I'm gonna put it on there but then when they were I was listening to them talk about like how they wanted to be consistent and schedule I was like huh because I had, uh, up to that point I had just given up on leftovers ever being consistent because I was consistent for the first few couple year <laughs> of his life I think like 2015 I was consistent 2015 like early 2016 I was consistent with leftovers posting because I just made like a buffer of scripts and the pages were super easy to make and they went up every oh god I think it was every Tuesday but I can't remember it might have been every Wednesday I don't know but <laughs> they went up consistently during the like, week but then I get college uh, senior year where I had to stop and, and work on you know a bunch of other stuff and then after that I graduated and had the adult for a long time and it was like I just kind of gave up unless there was ever being consistent um 
So, you know, cut to 2020 where Kaya is working on Echo. I'm like, you know what? Maybe it isn't such a bad thing for me to want leftovers to be consistent, you know? Like, maybe that's not such a bad goal to strive for, even if it does seem foolish because that was, you know, a big thing. Um, the anxiety around all that, it just seemed so foolish to want to strive because it's like, oh, you're putting all this energy into, you know, this comic that you can't even make money off of. Like, why would you, you know, you know, it just, those are the thoughts that enter your head whenever you're, especially when you're making like a fan comic. But I was like, you know, maybe it's not such a bad idea to treat this like a, like, not a second job. <laughs> I hate saying that, treat it like a second job, but kind of treat it like it's a, a, a main passion or to pour as much work into it as I want to pour into it because at the time I had wanted to pour like way more way more into it than I was especially in 2020 and I just was in this state of like self like denial self-denial I don't know how to describe it but like when I, I was like no no don't do this because you need to work on things that are going to make you money like, you know you know what I mean that kind of thing and I was like you know what maybe it's it's fine for me to want to do this and it's fine for me to want to spend time on something I love as opposed to spending time on another source of income <laughs> so I was like all right I sat down during my detox and I got you know a shit ton of pages done like I literally my goal was to post consistently all throughout 2021 I did not hit that but I, I, I got from uh, January to August and I'm super proud of that I think I mentioned that in the first episode but um yeah so that buffer came the reason why I had that big of a buffer came from that period of like if I want to be passionate about this I'm gonna be passionate about this and no one else can tell me anything else, anything otherwise and I started you know working on the pages and stuff and then like part of me in the back of my mind as a little Nuzlocke form <laughs> lurker was like you know it'd be kind of funny because I've always heard and I know this is like a kind of a controversial take but I've always heard that the Nuzlocke form extravaganza is more of a popularity contest than anything and I see where people are coming from in like regards to like past years um, where like people would sweep things but I, I do think they're working on that aspect and I think they've done a good job of working on that aspect but like part of me in the back of my mind was like you know it would be funny <laughs> I feel like I would know if because I was like okay let me you know not be afraid to strive to be consistent and not be afraid to strive to get more eyes on leftovers so then I was like huh it would be funny I feel like I would know if leftovers has more eyes on it if I was nominated over on the forums like if somebody was like oh yeah leftovers for whatever whatever in the like nominations period because it it starts it, or it goes in stages there's promo where people can like promo whoever they want there's nominations where people can nominate up to three people for each category this is where the categories come in so, like best world building and best attack and stuff like that um but they can nominate whoever they want for well not whoever they want there's certain stipulations um and this is where i mean like why uh this is what i mean by they're working on this but if they won last year like if somebody got best like first place and best antagonist they aren't allowed to be nominated this year so stuff like that but um yeah so i was like oh maybe i'll be nominated like because i think i got promo once or twice in the 2020 extravaganza um but i didn't participate in that i wasn't because i wasn't really sure what it was <laughs> like I knew that there were winners and I, I knew that like there were people on there that I've I've read before you know but I wasn't as engaged in the the community as I am now <laughs> so it, it was kind of like a thing that happened vaguely in my vicinity that I didn't really know about but now it's like oh you know what what if I <laughs> and this is before like this is like me talking in I want to say late December to early January uh late December 2020 to early January 2021 this is me like talking or just kind of thinking like while I was working on my buffer you know what if I got nominated like what if leftovers got nominated for you know I don't know anything really um that would be that was like one of my goals oh my god I didn't even mention so I have a bunch of goals for leftovers. <laughs> it's gonna get a little hairy here, right? So <laughs> I had a bunch of goals for leftovers. Um, that uh, was one of them. That was like kind of like the, the the back 
end of my goals. Like that was just kind of something where I was like, huh, I think I feel like, I feel like I would know if Leftovers is being read a lot if people are nominating me without like, you know, just, just out here nominating me. <laughs> and then another one was like, huh, I feel like I'd know, you know, if Leftovers like impacts someone, if I get fan art, if I get fan fiction, and specifically, even though I didn't really have much of a cause for this, like this Leftovers isn't wild yet. <laughs> but if I get NSFW fan art, because if you guys don't know, I'm a rat. <laughs> and if I got NSFW fan art, I would, I would be delighted. Like, I know it's like a lot of creators, not a lot of creators, but I know some creators are like, Please don't draw an FFW fan art of my characters. And I'm like, please, as long as they're legal, <laughs> don't be problematic. But I'm like, please draw, you know, an FFW fan art of my characters. But the, the reason I was like, huh, that's probably not gonna happen anytime soon, is because like I don't really have cause for it. Like it's not like leftovers isn't really a sexy comic, and it's not really like, I mean, maybe some people find my characters hot, like some of them hot. I don't know. But like that was just kind of my far off goal. All of these were kind of far off goals, like you know. And it always feels weird to talk about this because I don't want it to feel like I'm working, and this is just me at me, <laughs> I don't want it to feel like I'm working towards that. Like, oh yeah, I'm working so I can get nominated, or oh, I'm working so I can get fan art, you know? Like, I just want to work on my comic and not have it feel like looking for attention. Because, and this is another thing I needed to, to bring up, I'm glad I remember that, but when it comes to attention, if it's something like, obviously when I do my streams, Clearly, I know the attention is gonna be on me, so that's like fine. But when it's something like you know, um, the Swampert cosplay thing, or even this the Nuzlocke thing, the Nuzlocke extravaganza thing, or it was one point in time I think when I did my promos and I did all this fan art, and people were calling me like the light of the community, <laughs> and I just like <sighs> crawled back into my shell because <laughs> I don't know. It's just I'm I'm getting a lot better. And it's so funny, I was talking to my mom about this and I was telling her to like, I'm getting a lot better at, <laughs> at accepting compliments and she just kind of looked at me like, oh god, I know where you get that from. <laughs> Cause I was like, wait a minute, you do this. She was like, I know, I know. <laughs> Cause she's also not very good at accepting compliments. Like if somebody's like, oh, your hair is nice. It's like, oh yeah, you know, it's a little thicker than I expected. But like putting yourself down, like not mean that I accept the compliments. I'm getting better getting a lot better so whenever people are like hey you know I love your butt kit or I love your comment I'm just like oh thank you you know but like this amount of the amount <laughs> the amount of gratitude that I feel towards the community when I do shit like get leftovers the first place <laughs> in the Nuts Like Extravaganza and tell me that I'm the light of the community <laughs> the amount of gratitude that I feel about that it, I can't express it in words like I just I don't have the vocabulary for it I don't have the energy for it so I just kind of like shut down and this is why I have to do this on this video because I can like sit here and talk about it now you know on a video on a vlog but like I cannot for the life of me just stay in the discord chat and like consistently you know talk about it. especially the the whole thing of me just thinking like um what if I get you know a, a Nuzlocke nomination like that's how I know that Leftovers is popular like I don't want to go into that whole spiel in an environment where other people are also talking and engaging in the conversation because I don't want to take up too much space with that so that's kind of why I have to do this um and it's not like anybody else's fault obviously it's just it's just the way I am um but like yeah I <laughs> This is what I also didn't expect because I was literally just like, okay, you know, what if I get like a nomination? And then I got a nomination and I got several more nominations and I got more nominations. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I can check that off the list. And then I got so many nominations that I ended up on the ballot. I was like, huh, <laughs> okay. And then I won first place. <laughs> and it's like, it, it, like, and then I didn't even mention. I hit the other three goals last year. <laughs> I got fan art. Someone wrote a really cute little fan fiction about Sammy and, and Cohen going to find flowers. And then I got NSW fan art. I hit 
all four of my goals in 2021. Like, what do I do now? <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> I like literally have to make new goals or new like milestones. I think it's better for them to be called because I'm not striving towards that. So they're not goals, but milestones, I say. Um, it's, it's just, it's, I'm like, I, I have, I'm very gracious. I'm very grateful. <laughs> Here I go. Not knowing what the vocabulary to use, but I'm, I'm just very, you can tell I feel like from the energy, but I'm, I'm coming down a little bit, honestly. Uh, my throat is getting dry. Uh, and I had, <laughs> I started this with a headache. Um, I'm just a reckless boy. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just, I, I'm full of gratitude. My heart is full. Um, even like, you know, when people come out to my streams and just like the amount of community that I've gained around my streams with <laughs> Picard bruises, I literally, oh my God, I'm going to go to cry. I literally almost teared up. No, 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 stop. <laughs> but just even with that, like people coming out to support me and support other people and it's just, it's, it's so nice. I like, I really feel like I, I found a sense of community last year, um, 2021. And it just kind of like, I think that's what it is really. This business, nothing like it's driving anything, you just kind of put a bow on it. Um, and, oh, did someone come here? Hold on. Give me a sec. Nope. I think it's next door. <laughs> but yeah, it just kind of put like a, a, a bow on it. <laughs> and yeah, I just, I just really needed to scream about it. Like, I wrote in my, uh, my journal this morning and I was like, yeah, so I woke up, I'm feeling very satisfied, and I need to scream about it. <laughs> and that's just, that's, that's what I needed to do. I'm so glad I recorded this now, because um, mom is over, and I didn't want her I didn't want her to have to, like, go somewhere while I record this, or, like, be quiet while I, while I record this. So I'm so glad I got to record it now, because she's downstairs talking to a friend um, in the hotel, in the, like, atrium place. But uh, I'm up in the room just, like, chilling, so... Yeah, the vibes are immaculate up here. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, now that I've been going on long enough uh, about <laughs> other, like leftovers, but not like leftovers of uh, uh, vlog or vlog material, um, a little bit on my worksheet. So I started my Pokemon worksheets and I started them in the beginning of February and that's kind of where they lay. <laughs> it's kind of where they, they are now because February, my job got like mad busy, and I think it has a lot to do with the fact that there's so many like, um, for those of you who don't know, I make shirts, I make like, I do shirt designs and like merch designs for sorority, like Greek, Greek life, fraternities, um, stuff like that, and I think like this, around this time of the year, there's so many other things coming up, like big day, and, and there's like holidays, like, uh, well, this spring break too, <laughs> it's coming up in March. So everybody was getting their stuff in. So it was super duper busy, like way, way, way too busy. Um, and we, I just, I, <laughs> I was trying to work overtime for, you know, the Katsukon too. And I just didn't have a lot of time to work on my, my, a lot of time or energy to work on these worksheets. Um, and that's when I start like, cause I, my goal was to get them done get these and the human worksheets done by the end of March. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to extend that because I, I wanted to get like all of my worksheets, all of my like story and stuff written by ooh, June, I think. And then after that point, like halfway through the year. And then after that point, I can like work on building a page buffer. But I think I'm gonna have to extend that to using September through December to work on a page buffer and ending on my worksheets and story writing um, in August, maybe. <laughs> it might go longer than that because like I said, I'm trying to get a house and my lease ends in August. So around like May, June, June I gotta start looking really for you know a house. So it's gonna get even busier around that time. Um, so I'm just, I mean, I'm trying to fit everything in. Uh, but the Pokemon worksheets are going well when I can work on them. It's actually like, there's certain things that I, or certain areas where I'm like, hmm, maybe I didn't really need that. Like, um, oh, I can't think, I don't even have the worksheet in front of me and I can't think of it. Oh man, I think it was the thing where it's like, what's the evolution speed or something like that? I can't remember. But 
uh, it is a certain field on there, and I, I'm finding this with all the worksheets, really. It is, there's certain fields where I'm like, mm, that might have been overkill. <laughs> and like, I'll fill them out, but like next time, you know, if I if you do this, I probably don't need to keep these on there. But overall, the, the fields that I have on there are really super helpful. Um, I try, I brought my Pokemon Magic System worksheets with me to work on at Kotzcon if I had like downtime, but I decided to just not do that because I needed the break. Um, just from everything, just I just want to sit and vibe. But the po well, on the Pokemon worksheets, the um, Magic worksheets, it's like you have the typing, and then you have the like what it's strong against, what it's weak against, and then you have like four other categories where it's like levels, levels that are manifested, or levels where um, each each type manifests. So like level four level one through four it's like somebody who's level one how do they manifest their magic so how do they, a fire type who's in the level one category manifest their magic and it's something like you know they can make small embers it's not like too hot like fire is not too hot whereas level four would be like complete mastery like self emulation emulation they can like set themselves you know a flame and be fine like stuff like that but I completely forgot because I have the Pokemon worksheets and I have 69 of those buggers but I have those and then I also have the, the, the um, magic typing worksheets and then on top of that I also have the um, oh my god what are they called the the environment worksheets so I think this might be a thing like the last time I was working on stuff where there's just so many that I might not be able to do all of them or I might not find I might not see it fit to do all of this work on all of them um before I start writing the story like there's some certain things I can go back in like for, for instance in the Pokemon work case right now I've only printed out the Hoenn Pokemon even though there's other Pokemon that exist from other regions in Hoenn like a uh, Tentacool Magikarp a uh, Machoke like those lines you know all those Pokemon also exist in Leftovers and Hoenn but I haven't I didn't print out you know pages for them yet because I just right now want to focus on um, figuring out what Hoenn is dealing with because the the politics the stories everything that deals with uh, everything that happens in Leftovers deals with like Hoenn Mon and I can't say too much without being a spoiler but like everybody else is kind of extra so I need to like work on that and then there's the human worksheets, which I think there's like four different types of. There's the, the aberrant thing, um, aberrant sheets, which are basically like the human form of the magic typing sheets. Um, because aberrants, if you haven't read Leftovers, aberrants are like people with powers um, or people with like Pokemon magic. Um, and then there's holidays, religion, stuff like that, which those aren't going to take too, too long, I don't think, because... I'm not going through and like figuring out every holiday. I'm just recording what I already know in the back of my mind and just making that a little more, you know, fleshed out. Uh, and then as I'm writing the story, I can go back and do a worksheet for a holiday if I make up a holiday while I'm writing the story. So the goal is really to get through a lot of these so I can start writing the actual story. Because recently, like when I was doing the uh, politics worksheets and stuff, I was thinking about like different story beats, but now that I'm I'm kind of just working on like Pokemon as they exist just regularly because I don't want to go too much into the Pokemon worksheets because um, I will have an episode for it, but I'm not doing a ton of creating other stuff. I'm, I'm generally just like pulling from what is actually canon and keeping that for inventory. So stuff like, you know, what's the type? Where, how do they evolve that's like not stuff that I'm necessarily creating that's just all from like Bulbapedia or you know from the canon stuff and then later on like those would serve as a spring point where later on if I want to be like oh this Pokemon like has a variation in how they evolve from you know different like st for story reasons I can go back and do that later on that's the panting part so or <laughs> so uh, yeah I think I am uh, going to push back my my original goal of having these Pokemon and human worksheets done by March. I think I'm going to push that back to April, perhaps the end of April. And then we'll see if we can use like May through August to work on um, to work on the story part of things. 
um yeah i feel like that's a good time actually now that i'm thinking about it because after april <laughs> i feel like in the summertime we get we're gonna get a lot slower at, at work that's usually the trend because you know kids are out for the summer so they're not like putting in orders for stuff but hopefully because this is my this is my first year working with this company it's my first full year working with this company so um they usually they said that usually it gets slower in the summer but when i came on in the summer last year it was like mad crazy <laughs> so and I, I came on late in the summer too like right before school was about to start so um yeah i'm hoping i'm hoping the trend is <laughs> i'm gonna trend come back because i i can really use like a nice you know mellow summer to work on some stuff especially since i'm gonna be doing the house stuff too um but also i'm excited for these sprints um so in the nuzlocke discord um specifically the the one that i'm in it's the 100 days of nuz comics which it's, it's like they have the i think i mentioned this last time actually um but they have between is it oh uh, july i think it's july through the end of october i think where it's 100 days where every day you have to work on 30 minutes you have to work 30 minutes on your comic and then you can log it in the discord but they also have these sprints and i think the first sprint is coming up in march where every day you have to work 30 days but it's like smaller you know chunks of 30 25 to 30 day chunks so i'm excited for that because then that'll you know give me a structure for which to work on these uh worksheets so i can you know be like hey i can get one worksheet done a day or two worksheets done a day or whatever but <laughs> but yeah all right i feel like i have gone on long enough i'm actually surprised i was able to record this whole thing um in the hotel room right now <laughs> you could probably hear my my energy is running out a little bit but um but yeah i need to take some headache medicine and get something to drink because the throat's dry <laughs> um and just i feel like I've, I've said everything i need to say but thank you again to anyone who voted for leftovers congratulations to everybody who participated um and yeah this is going to be pakara signing out